Hello. Um, hello. I feel like this is the same day, by the way. She was so excited she went to watch another one. She gets changed in between these episodes, and uh, I I don't I don't see the point. Plus, I'll mess up my hair and do my hair again. It's just ridiculous. I needed the bathroom, okay, and then I needed to top up my blusher, and then I was actually cold. You cannot be cold. It's actually feel me feeling. Feel this little bit here. It feels warm to me. I just wanted you to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> she actually does it so that um, the wee thumbnails that you get on your computer, she can tell what episode it is based on what she's wearing. Exactamundo! When I do like four videos a day, it's usually different outfits. You know, I used video. to post eight videos a day on my channel. Yeah. Eight videos a day. God, quantity over quality, babe. Yeah, but quantity has a quality all of its own. It's funny, I used to get, I used to actually get that. Oh yeah, quantity over quality. You can't have eight good videos in a day. They were 20 minute videos. You can't have eight good videos in a day. Ah, damn well can. And now you've got like... Streamers. Streamers that will stream for eight to 10 hours a day. Sometimes 24 hours a day. I know, I honestly, I can't watch. See if a streamer does like any length of time, I can't watch them because they're just like wee zombies. They're like, nah, playing the game. Although, yeah, like, to be fair, I've seen a few reactions like that as well. And I'm whoa! Like, I'm like, it's like it's the, the, the hints in the title, it's supposed to be a reaction, and you're just like... You know, on <laughs> this channel, it's quite nice, <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> we don't tend to get many of those comments. People know... People tend to... No. <laughs> they tend to know what they get with us, which is a whole lot of... Lots. Oh, the movies. The movies are really bad for it, though. Yeah, because... Can you just shut up? No! Just... No, Look, I won't! Go to cinema if you want people to shut up! Are you alright there? Yeah, I'm fine. You, you blew out the mic. No, oh, that's not the only blowing that'll be happening in this episode if you get my drift. Well, I don't actually, because I think <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> He's about to tell her about his diagnosis. Yes, and that's gonna blow her mind. What are you like 10? What? Yeah. 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 What? You're pathetic. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> so we are here with more Breaking Bad. Um, oh, if I, I was Gijo, I'd sit like this. I'm pathetic. I always saw this. Yeah, and do you know how hard it is to get a good thumbnail from someone that's like. We should do back to back. That's the way the thumbnail should be. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Oh no, now my shoulders don't unshow. Hold on, we we said for the for a little bit of the here we go. Pat up. Yeah. You need to blue steel like um what's his face? I from... can't blue steel because of my brace, it hurts <laughs> my face. What's his name? Eamon from Hot D. Hot D Zoolander. I'm sorry, I don't know why he was Zoolandering so hard. Like, do you think that that was just how he walks around? Maybe. Might just be the way his mouth sits. Yeah. I understand that. My mouth does not sit correctly. Maybe he was told, like, do that because it gives you a better jaw for camera. It's like... <laughs> I'm going to do that for the rest of the episode. <laughs> oh, please don't. I don't think I'd remember. Please don't. My memory's not that good <laughs> to be like, oh, no, do it. It would take a lot for you to remember to do it as well. Literally what I just said. I know, I'm just <laughs> I remember I was, I was reading something. I like I stopped listening. I stopped listening to you and this I read something. This is the story of my life, man. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, what I was trying to say. <laughs> I'm like, my brain is already thinking about what I'm doing after this. I was like, so should I play some Spyro or should I? We should I? have brought them a cupcake in so they could see the cupcakes. Well, go get it then. Ah, oh, so far away. <laughs> this, this mansion Ow. that we live in. Do you know how hard it is to go through those doors and then through the other doors and then phone the maid to bring them from the West Wing? You know what's funny? I, um... It's getting a bit dirty here now. I uh, took a photo of the dinner that we had. Oh, yeah. The other the day. Fush and chops. And then somebody was like, oh, that battered steak looks amazing. I was like, excuse me. Oh, it's a nice piece of wild Atlantic cod. I was like, people batter steak? 
I was actually thinking about this, you know, as I was deep frying the fish. I was actually. That you th- wished it was steak. I was actually thinking, I wonder if a deep fried steak would be good. Well, apparently, Americans say it exists. And this is a Glasgow thing. We just deep fry everything. Mars bars. If you the ever come, Mars bars yeah. So if you good. ever come to Scotland, it's dirty. Just go into a shop because usually you have to do that. Buy a Mars bar and then just take it into any chippy and be like, and ask "Here are you." Well, a, lot of, a lot of chippies will have Mars bars. But, but, I mean, it depends on what chippy you go to. Because if you go up north, they don't seem to even know that exists. So. I mean, they don't seem to think anything else exists. They're still stuck like 50 years ago. They do have Highland cows. Yeah, horses pulling carts and it's all that crazy. Highlands is wild. That's where I'm from. And I'm a bit wild. (laughs) Someone actually sent me an unsolicited DM on Discord the other day about an NFT project called something the Highlands. And it was an American group and it was called the Highlands, but they were using like Scottish iconography. But it was high because it was weed. <laughs> and I was like, fucking die in a fire. What the heck is a high. high, uh, high what? what? What did you just say? Weed? Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bit before that. Scottish iconography? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like Highland Cows, Nessie, or Willy Hat, that type of thing. You're not allowed to talk about Nessie. Nessie doesn't appreciate it very much. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, yeah. Anyway, Breaking Bad. Um, We're here with episode four. And already... Episode four. Cancer Man. Cancer Man. That's like... Burnt Face Man. (laughs) Someone needs to tell me where the the sound is. (laughs) We spoke about this. Is it Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? Well, I don't know. Look at me. I never but watched you your crappy shows. You keep looking at it. Is it distracting? <laughs> <laughs> More skin I've seen in years. <laughs> uh, might as well just do both. Oh, well, that's kind of hot. No. no yeah, we're digging that. No. Nah. And then you throw your hair back. I whip my hair back. No, that's, 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 that's not cute. That's oh, not cute. Oh, chair's going to die. Yeah, it's like, what is... Is it Foster's home? I don't it? know! I didn't watch that crap! Fish! I like potato. Me and my best friend, we used to make that sound to each other, oh. and now, now I don't remember. It would just be like we'd walk up to each other and be like, Boop! like that for no reason whatsoever. Well, there is a reason, it's because we're cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're Absolute here with. Absolute loser. <laughs> I love. We're here with Breaking Benjamin. Oh, don't be weird things you used to do as a kid. I, when I was on Xbox Live as a kid, I used to put on an American accent so that people didn't think it was weird. That's kind of sad. I, I don't know. So people could understand me. Considering that everybody is. And like, I have a very oh, understandable you're Scottish. Accent. You're Scottish. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I used to always put on an American accent. When I was playing Xbox Live. That to me isn't an American accent though. That is just a person pretending to be American. Oh, you tell me. Comment section. Many Americans out there. As they're so quick to let us know. Aww. You know, nobody commented on the Rooty Tooty Point and Jay. I was really surprised. <laughs> Wait, or was that last episode? No, it was episode one. Yeah, you didn't. Not last that. episode, episode, episode two. I mean, but no, I think that was episode one that I was talking about the Rooty Tooty Point and Jay. Nobody even commented on it. I thought I was quite, thought I was quite funny. Don't you hate it when you know you're funny, but no one thinks you're funny? Never happened to me. Oh, happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's really warm in here. It's really cold in here. It's not. Anyway. If you want to watch this unedited with us, Breaking why bad. wouldn't you? Head on over to suzylou.co.uk. It's, it's here. And head on over, and do both. Head on over to the Patreon, the link is down here. Don't do both, just go to the website, because Patreon takes a cut. Yeah, screw you, Patreon. Yeah, just go to the website. It's February, you know. We just use Patreon as a payment processor anyway, because people like Patreon more than going to our website. It's so weird, it was like when when the website got started, people were like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can trust that. It's been four years! I know. Have I steered you wrong? No! The new website's much better. Yeah, I'll see it when I believe it. (laughs) 
Okay. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Here Can't we go. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Yeah, do that. And thank you so much for 25,000. Are we on 25,000? We will be by the time we get to this video. Are you sure? Hold on. That's, that's, that's jinxing. It's not jinxing. We'll have 25,000 by the time we get to this video. I cannot connect to the Wi-Fi in here. That's because you suck. Hey, anyway. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we probably will hit 25k. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, as long as nothing horrific happens. Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see that? No, what was Our it? Our latest comment. Bob D. Builder. <laughs> <laughs> You've just started the best show to ever exist. Thank you so much, Bob D. Builder, from one minute ago. Bob D. Builder. Right, let's... The Jamaican Bob the Builder. Bob D. Builder. Let's delve on in That's to Bob episode racist. four. Delvin. Operation Icebreaker. Icebreaker. Ah, uh, because ice, yeah. Isn't that the name of a breath mint? What? Icebreakers, right? Breath mint? Nobody's gonna be thinking that. What's it matter? I'm gonna be thinking Operation Breath Mint. I'm thinking Operation Breath Mint every time you and me are on a stakeout together, all right? Breath mint <laughs> like a buzzard on <laughs> wagon. Ha, huh, this guy's not very good at taking criticism, is he? You need a tic tac or something, because your breath stinks. Ogres are like onions. AKA Crazy Eight. Way smarter than your average cheese eater. I turned him out when he was street level. Cheese eater? Now it turns out that he's missing, presumed dead. We found his car uh, out in the boonies. So he was a snitch. Emilio Koyama. You thinking the cousin found out and took revenge? Could be. It turns out he's missing too. Ah, oh, they've gone on vacay. Don't worry about it. But our snitch's car. Turns out we find two grams of meth in it. We take it to the lab. They come back, they tell us it is the purest they've ever seen. 99.1%. I mean, our chemist is blown away. If Walter can actually get in on this, he could be a billionaire. Meantime, our guy swabbed the filter element and found the same 99.1 meth. So be on notice. We got new players in town. Oh, oh yeah, we do. And honey, look a little bit closer to home. Or don't. I mean, personally, I think an Albuquerque just might have a new kingpin. <laughs> yep. He did kill a man with his bare hands. I want caught up with my bare hands. <laughs> I want to caught up with it with my bare hands. <laughs> What's that, Rush Hour? Rush Hour, yeah. Uh, the oh, funniest part of Rush Hour is at the end. The outtakes. Is the yeah. outtakes. <laughs> I want to cut a bullet with my bare hands. I can't believe that he had such terrible English. Just look at this. And then did that movie and it was great. Why are you burning that squealing? Children. That looks so tasty, actually. Like, Jesus, I would eat why that. Are you burning that? I don't know. It's food. <laughs> well, I thought he was burning another body. No, you don't burn them, you melt them. All right, looking good. Is this. Low fat mayonnaise in the coleslaw. Oh, oh yeah, God, life, so honey. We would not sit at a table with her and be quiet. Marie, some more wine, maybe? I'm all right, thanks. All right. Hey, I want a beer. Some weed? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I ain't having any either. Uh, how about some more soda, huh? Ah, yeah, sure. Honey, do you need anything? Mm, no, well, thank you. Okay. Right back. No, you need to rewound. I want to know how that conversation <laughs> went. It went as you can imagine. Ah, oh, everything's PC nowadays. Even the cola's PC. <laughs> I don't think there's much PC when this came out. Oh no, there was. Look, the guy didn't gotta look like uh, you know, Charles Heston. I'm talking Moses days to get a girl. All right, you just gotta have confidence. Exactly. Honestly, a confident, but not too confident. Not cocky. Not cocky. Girls don't like cocky. We won't sleep with you. Kept bugging her for a date. She kept saying no. Well, I asked you like 50 times. Yeah, it was before they tightened the stalking laws. <laughs> I actually feel like I would believe her the way she said that. Tell them how you met Scott. Mom was a waitress in Los Alamos. In a cocktail and... bar. When he met her. It was a summer job. And... Uh, she was the hostess and she also worked the cash register and i used to go in there a lot because it was close enough to the lab where i could ride my bicycle that's like the cutest 
story ever. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. She would lean against the counter, doing her crossword puzzles, uh, but kind of hiding it, right? Pretending that she was still working. And once I caught onto that, I would do crossword puzzles while I ate my grilled cheese sandwich. We would both be doing the New York Times crossword puzzle 10 feet from each other. Like, she's not even smiling, though. This story's adorable. No. Eventually, I caught her looking over at me. Cheating off my homework. Got us talking, and uh, boy, I tell you, I was, I was terrible oh, no. at those she's puzzles. no, she's like crying. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that I finished even one of them. Oh. I bet you didn't think your old man had it in him, huh? But that's what I'm talking about. That's persistent, you see? Once you set your cap for something, or somebody, you gotta Aww. just, you know. I feel like she just misses what they were, you know? Like, that was too much for her. Well, I think it's more just thinking about it, you know? Shh, honey, it's okay. What's the matter? Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ask him. <laughs> That is heartbreaking. So, she knows like, about his illness. Yeah. Not like that, for God's sake. I feel like she's looking at him like, who is she? <laughs> yeah. Walt? Uh, I have cancer. Oh. Oh, I'm getting all emotional. It's bad. Yeah, me too. I knew. I knew episodes ago. Did you at least tell the son before these two, though? Because he didn't seem shocked mm. then. Yeah. Because I'd hate to think that he gets told at the table. I know, yeah. You know, with everyone else. Oh, bless him. We're just sitting out there having a cookout like nothing's going on. He made me promise not to tell anybody. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard for him though. Buddy, why, I mean, why wouldn't you want to tell anybody? Walt, don't you see? Everybody just wants to help you. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? When someone tells you it's incurable, it's there's, the, there's yeah. this balance of hope versus acceptance. And this is hope, you know, which doesn't mentally help you. One time you complained about that, that they didn't give you the right kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of ventilation hood or something, and, and, no. and then the, the headaches. It wasn't that. This is just, how do they think they can get away with this? We should hire a lawyer. This is literally you. This is, I was going to say, I can see myself here. How dare you, God? Oh. Okay, so first thing tomorrow, I talk to my radiologists. We find you the best. That's what she's a doctor. Oncology dream team. It's good. Like he's already had time to be told and to and accept. To accept. That, yeah. And now it's like, because I've gone through things like this with my own chronic pain, you know, where you, you go from dinner. like hope I, um, to no hope to acceptance. To, you know what I mean? It's a horrible, I talk, Amanda, bumpy Amanda road. Joining us. I really didn't mean for him to find out that way. And the sad thing is, oh, so that is the kid just finding out like that. Oh, shouldn't have been like that. I hope this goes without saying, but um, whatever happens, I want you to know that um, I'll always take care of your family. Oh. Oh. That's really sweet. I'm getting all choked up again. Who is this guy? This is sticky floor. Wait, why are you in his house? Where's Chessie? Well, they have a party. Is he got squatters? Hey yo, what happened to your hallway, man? Uh, did like the ceiling fall down? Or... Oh yeah. Uh... Nah, man. I think nice. the house is just settling. <laughs> you know, caving in left and right. What? Say hi, Jesse. You still cook a little crystal? I don't. Could be, yeah. Oh, but then you're gonna have to find Walter! 
He's still got the bo the bag, is he not? Kind of doing my own thing these days, so. But you uh, maybe got some crystal, man? Because I could seriously go for a bowl right now, you know what I'm saying? Take the edge off. Just go get some freaking Cheerios. It does the same thing. <laughs> oh, Jesse, oh, uh, just say no. It just so happens that. Just uh, say no. Just say no. The best batch ever. Jesse. Oh, yeah. Came Was it any chili recipe. powder? It's more like a formula. It's like way, way more chemically shit. You know, it's, it's just the bomb. You shouldn't be promising when you may not be able to deliver, Jesse. Which means still got a massive bag of it. I mean, it went in the toilet. So? It's in a Ziploc. Other baggy brands do exist. We don't need no soap opera. Yeah, man, whatever. No, 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 it's all, it's all good. You know, I, I'm just saying, uh, hey, I got, I got plenty of pot. Yeah, I think I'll bounce, man. Listen, if these guys are not really your friends, then tell them and get gone. They're just using you for your crystal meth, Jesse. Best Gante ever. Grab that pipe. <laughs> Here they are again, those damn walkers. That's what I need to do when we walk the dog, just... That's like you when the walkers are going by. You're like, oh, how dare you make noise? It's 4 p.m. I'm sleeping. Have you heard the bin men lately? Oh no, ridiculous. It's like a concert outside your house just for them to empty the bins. Like, I know it's a boring job, but jeez, oh. It is annoying when it's seven in the morning and they, like, they jump out of the van just shouting. They might as well have gangster rap on at this point. This is actually gangster rap. But this is me on most other times though. What's smoke? Smoking a crack pipe full of meth. Uh, no, a cup of tea while I look out, out the window. Sons of Anarchy? <laughs> Is that you? Uh oh. Oh, uh, oh he's high. He's, he's so just high. Hallucinating, aren't he? <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> Everybody get down! Grenade! It's the crossover. Are you sure he's hallucinating? It's probably just. It's probably not what he's seen there. I don't give a damn what anyone says. I love Jesse's style. I mean, look at my hoodie and then look <laughs> at his. It's not like I don't go out and buy this because of Jesse. Well, have you heard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Oh, <laughs> my Lord. I mean, you never <laughs> know. <laughs> they could have grenades on them. Well, they get quite pushy around here. I mean, his life. It's exactly when I describe things happening to me, you know? Oh. And they came to the door and they had a grenade! Oh. Ow. That's stingy. Yeah. Just gonna see you using some uh, CA glue on that one. Oh gosh, I can just feel the pain. I mean, you'd never get away with hiding things like that from me. Why well, check you out too often? I'd be like, what's that on your leg? Oh, it's a bloody leg. Anytime I get a bruise, you're like, who gave you that bruise? <laughs> the dog. The dog. <laughs> Do you need some help? Oh, you've just hurt my pinky. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine, honey. I'm fine. Just, uh... Privacy. Thanks. Like if you said something like that to me and I knocked on the door and you were like, privacy, I'd be like, right, I'm coming in. <laughs> it's just a shame. I hope we don't ever end up like that. Can I just put that on a credit card? Great. Oh, Perfect. honey. Okay, so we will see you at 1045 on Friday morning. And this is exactly what he didn't want. He didn't want you to then get in more debt because of him. Uh -huh. So now he's going to feel compelled to do it even more. The best oncologist. I mean, not even just in New Mexico, but one of the top 10 in the entire nation. His name is um, Dr. Del Cavoli. 
and we see him on Friday. How do you get how like do they have leaderboards or like how do you find who's the best? Google. From here on out, I mean things are gonna What's, what's that we're putting on a credit card? Uh it's just a deposit kind of thing. How much of a deposit? It's five thousand dollars. What? Five thousand? That's that's the deposit. It's a lot of scratch. Good lord. What's well, that? Just a start? I mean Exactly. You might as well start know. selling some more meth. Well, he's not in our HMO, okay? It, so be it. We'll figure it out. Well, you did have like a 40 Come grand on, bag don't get hung up on money here. After they put day. down the toilet. You can always borrow from Hank. Absolutely not. Don't let your pride kill you, Walter. No, your lungs doing that. I don't even want us thinking about money. Money is not the issue here. It's mm. not. Yeah, but it will be. And that that's the problem right there is when people say things like that. Mm. You know, you have to be smart in situations like this. Yeah? Yeah. Well, um, she I'll says, do you remember the wedding last year? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was going to borrow some money from his pension. I remember the budget of the mm -hmm. wedding being 20 grand. And uh, <laughs> that was gone in like the first month. Ridiculous. Weddings are a scam. But also the best day of your life. Look, where can you get the money from? Oh, oh, it's windy in there. Hey. Hey, Phil. What's up? His, his H-backs just sucked his money away. So, what's up, pal? What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, why wouldn't you tell him? Why are you acting so weird? The guys so, know. You're, you're they acting know like us. nothing is going on. Aww. Yeah, well, he's already had time to accept it. He's had the month of freaking out about it. Yeah, remember how you were on the day when the doctor told you? That's how they feel. And I'm not remember saying- Remember fake bacon day? I'm not saying that it's not worse for him because it's always hard for the person going through it. Yeah, Tampico, Oh, That was the- That was what the guy was talking about. Yeah, the guy's dad's shop. But he was a filthy rat for the DEA anyway. Uh. All right, he ratted in his own cousin. And Jess. Yeah. Oh my god. What drugs do you have in your car? None. Okay. Whew. Well then why are you so concerned about getting pulled over? Oh! That's alright. Well you're allowed to have your own money, right? Uh, well I mean it can be suspicious obviously but, you know, he's, he's driving like a hybrid. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Um, not like that when you're on the road by yourself because I think they just like, they would be very obvious that they were overtaken. Yeah, yeah. But... I had no MOT on my car before and blues were behind me. That gave me a fright. Yeah, there's been a few times that I've, uh, I've had the, the coppers put the blues and twos on behind me and I was like, oh no. Oh, oh hey! Yeah, what? Am I gonna have to come down there and whoop your ass? Can Is wins? that a BMW? I don't know, what was that? Was it a Buick? It looked like it. Oh, a bloody Buick again. Yeah, that's a Buick, yeah. Mate, he's got a drop top. Go and get a milkshake. <laughs> oh, I, I said, Dave, do you think 40 grand is a proper bonus? That's less than 10% of what I booked for you guys this quarter. Come on. Could your call like, not wait? Because this is just call so obnoxious, it kills me. I don't think it's as obnoxious as the Zoomers with their bloody FaceTime calls. Yeah, so anyway, what we're doing on Saturday? I know, that's weird. Dude, you should check this chick out. Who? I, I'm the... Buddy, she's a cow. Just douchebag. We're talking major barnyard boo hog. Roll her in flour and look for the wet spot before you hit that man, you know what I'm saying? That kind of stink does not wash off. Oh my god, Sir? mate, really? <laughs> right. Sir. 
Sorry, he's imagining how he's gonna murder this guy over and over and over. Sorry about that. I would like a cashier's check in the full amount made out to oncology partners of New Mexico, please. Oh, that's O-N-C-O-L-O-G-Y. Yeah, you got it. I don't know why, but I feel like that would be so suspicious, you know? <laughs> They say they can't have a switch in between woodwinds because no matter how they divide it up, someone would be left out. Well, rules are rules, I guess. Sure, rules are rules. I'm all for that. But I'm telling you. Who are these people? You really shine on that oboe. You have real talent, and I'm not just saying that. Much me your kid learn oboes. <laughs> hey, so how was soccer practice? Is this Walt's mum? I think that was in our bag. Oh, no, Honey, okay. grab the gun. Oh no, what should be Jesse freaking out? Who's there? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. What the hell are you doing out here? <laughs> I'm stuck in your sky hey, dish. Uh, hey, mom. Oh my god. Got new patio furniture. Right on. You might need. Oh More my god. <laughs> my leg. I was just running away from the guy with a machete and a grenade. I, I hope he'll take me in. Definitely wouldn't expect that that was Jesse's parents. I was one year old in 1991. I kind of feel like I would though, because. I feel like it would explain a lot when you've got a family that have such high standards that you could never conform to it. Like that happens quite a lot. I don't know, they didn't seem like they had high standards. They seemed, they seemed pretty know. attentive to their son. They seemed a bit too posh. Yeah, screw poshies. And maybe that's something that Jesse kind of struggled with, you know? You think he, he hit his rebellious stage and, and done meth? Yeah, maybe. And maybe he just never grew out of it. Is that Walt's car? No. God knows I'm no expert. I don't know. Uppers? Downers? Your guess is as good as mine. I think we should check his arms for needle marks. He smokes a pipe. Do we let him stay? The Presbyterian Church has those meetings. So maybe on condition, you know, if he agrees to attend. Aww. We've got louder milk meetings. What are you making, woman? I want to know because it looks tasty. <laughs> time's, uh, time's dinner. In about an hour. Okay, I'm going back to You know, bed. I could uh, wash those clothes if you'd like. They look a little libbed in. Aw, mums can't help it, can they? He's not wearing his Akatsuki hoodie anymore. <laughs> we are not doing this again. Um, no. We said we'd lay down the law. We lay down the law. You just have to be consistent about it. That ain't you. That is literally your mum and dad. Your mum would be like, my baby! And your dad <laughs> would be like, get out! <laughs> no, no smoking meth in my house. She sat at the table though. Yeah. Okay, he's sat on the table. He's a good boy. You always go home though, don't you? I was going to say, like, you always... You always hope that your mum and dad's got your back through thick and thin, but then no, because some people have really horrific relationships with their parents. Hey. Uh-oh. All right, well, listen. Um, give me maybe another 20 minutes and... We'll get out of here. All right. All right. But what are you looking at in your microscope? <coughs> I can understand why he'd be mad though. Like I would hate it if my dad kept that from me. And then I was the last one to know, you know? Uh, yeah, well, he wasn't the last one to know. Yeah, but he was lumped in with the sister-in-law. You know, I, I just think that uh... Things have a way of working themselves out. All right, your mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as saying what will be will be. Do you believe that? What? That things have just a way of working themselves out. I seem to. 
I contacted the Albuquerque Journal and asked what kind of chemicals they used to bleach your paper. They wound up writing an article about it. Right on, little bro. Aw. Now, hey, remember, not all learning comes out of books. That is very true. We should hang out more often. You know, just, uh, just kick back and chill. I mean, if you ever, like, I don't know, need advice. Because, yo, I mean, I've been through it all. For real. <laughs> I feel like this is literally me and my brothers. Uh. You play the flute? It's, it's a, a piccolo, piccolo, actually. Dude, play some, uh, play some Jethro Tull. Hey, guys. Dance monkey. We're, uh, we're good. Jay? Yeah, fine, Mom. Wow, it's good. It's, it's great. That's kind of sad, though. It's like, they're just talking. I know. I think he was going to make him, like... She obviously yeah. thinks that he's a bad influence. You see so. I mean, what am I, some criminal or something? Exactly. What, you, th you think that's okay? Like, oh, we can't let that scumbag warp the mind of our favorite son. I'm the favorite? Yeah, right. Huh? Practically all they ever talk about. Oh. Ah, that's funny. So because you're the problem child, you actually end up taking all the attention away. That's interesting. So he could be like a straight A student, but still feels like lesser. Probably that's why he's a straight A student though. Yeah. Try to get attention. It's funny though, because it's the same in my family without going into too much detail, but it's like, there's like certain members of my family that get talked about all the time and it's a negative conversation and la la la. And it's because they're not like the perfect child, you know? It's always the way. So I can see why Jesse would be the, the disappointment yeah. that they'd always talk about. Opens up as a wee weed stash. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, action man, not the greatest hero of them all. But he did get an award over Barbie recently. Action man? Oh no, I'm thinking of Ken. <laughs> Oh my god, it is my brothers. My brothers were great artists. <laughs> they just never went anywhere with it. Awesome. Hey, at least they kept his room the way it is. I remember that one time I went home. And my entire room. Oh my god, that would be him, Walter. <laughs> yeah, I remember going home and my room was like completely just guest room Aww. you could have done it if you just applied yourself i think anyone can oh yeah i got this cousin he's got him some rich friends these dudes are in town they're looking to partay and your stuff is like so sweet so what do you say you up for making some fat stacks? Does he have any more? I'm a fan of fat stacks. Make a rain! <laughs> oh, he's trying to find the, yes. the yes. cash. Huh? Every time. Oh, you can't be serious. Is it Jesse? Oh my god. What the hell are you doing here? Yo, I waited till the ball buster left. I mean. The ball buster. What is is that like a lemming a playing the flute? You're setting me up, Homo. A wire? You want a wire? I got a wire. Speak into the mic. <laughs> What's wrong with you? A wire. As if Jesse would be setting you up. God. Then why are you here? I don't know. It's like touch base. Oh. Yeah, you know, um, what do they call, uh, debrief? Maybe we could, like, thought we could debrief. You know, talk about making some more He already did so. I would not want him debriefing. Yeah, I mean, after what happened, it just seems like the thing to do. Kind of, you know, talk about it. 
Oh. We can. He wants to be your best friend else. and also cook some meth. I mean, you know, you kind of killed people, so you can't just Wanted go separate to, ways you know, now. Tell you how much everybody digs. Can I say they don't We could. Everybody digs them meth. We could. Don't say it. He needs to have a code word for it. Balonies. Fairy cakes. Cupcakes. You know, you and I cooking a little more. Just a bit of bacon. Wow. You do need the money, Walt. Ah, uh, you know what? Four grand. Your share from selling that batch. I thought it was forty grand batch. Yeah, yeah, that's right. How much hey, did he smoke? I didn't smoke <laughs> at all. Oh, dude, Jesse. Someone comes out right now, there's just four grand on the ground. There's nobody there, is there? Yeah, you said that. You said they all left. Oh, that's what I said, if someone comes back now. <laughs> you're very quick. Swift wind and you've lost, like, a grand. I know. Stick it in the tumble dryer. It is... curable. I prefer the word treatable. But the treatments we have at our disposal can be very effective. Doesn't want to say curable because it just doesn't want the liability. What about the side effects? Well, they can be mild to practically non-existent, or they can be pretty darn awful. It varies from patient to patient. Typically, there's hair loss, which oh. begins a couple of weeks after the start of chemotherapy. Sorry, we were laughing at the side effects because the medication they put me on, they were like, you might get side effects. I got them all. Well, not them all, because if you got them all, you'd be dead. Well. <laughs> Although, we'll prescribe an antiemetic and try to counteract that. Uh, possible kidney or bladder irritation, you may wind up... Oh my god! Why would you even ask, man? I don't never ask about the side effects. Just see what happens. Also, when you get a new tablet, don't read the side effects, because you'll convince yourself that you've got at least 10 of them. Oh no. What's the maid going to find? Should get a wee brush like that. That's a good idea. I mean, we've got a big brush like that. Uh, well, not. Uh -oh. oh no. It's just a doobie. Just take it yourself, then. Oh, what a grass bag! I know. To say. I'm a grown ass man that does a doob. I bet it's a little brother. What do you know about that? That it makes me sweepy. How many times have we said? Right here, and had the same conversation over and over again, where you look us in the eye and you plead ignorance, and you play on our emotions. Which I actually be a little brother setting them up. We are not going to have this in our house. We need you to leave. Oh, uh, Can I at least take it with me? Oh yeah, you take it with you. Even if it isn't yours. Yoink. See you later. That's so hard though. It's like you want to believe that they'll have changed or anything, you know? See if it turns out to be the wee bros though. And he's just taking a fall for that. Thanks for not telling on me. Oh, yeah. you little sh oh, man. Uh, you think I could have it back? No! No, <laughs> no place is doing business. Yeah, thanks very much for that one, kid. And, uh, don't do drugs. It's skunk weed anyway. Oh, brother, indeed. How could you do that, like, to your brother? No, well, I don't think he set him up. No, I don't think he set him up, but it's the fact that you're like, oh, thanks for taking the fall for that, when it's like, you know what that's just done. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? I said this is really... Very, very hopeful. Oh. Just try to force you to get the treatment, mate. I just think that we need to discuss it a little more, that's all. What is there to discuss? The You're price? You're gonna get the best treatment, and he's the best. Well, there's the money discussion. I think, no, $90,000. <gasps> oh my god. Who has 90000 there's uh, installment plans. I, I, I could always go back to work. Installment plans? You've got a baby on the way and that's like getting a flat. So really cheap. Can we spend all that money and... Is 
It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. And then he's leaving you and Auntie Grand with the debt, and he's dead. Maybe treatment isn't the way to go. Then why don't you just die already? Yo! I agree. Whoa! Just I agree. Die. Yo. Oh man. I would go into ninety grand's worth of debt, even if it meant there was just a tiny chance that you would survive. I know you would. Yep. I know you would. I think any partner would. But it is difficult. Oh god, do not pass out at the wheel. Don't pass out at the wheel! This is why you need a Tesla that will pull over and phone the ambulance for you. No, don't phone the ambulance! <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that, by the way. That was just a promise that was made that never actually happened. Oh no. There's no treatment for him. Listen, he was just doing a voice acting session where he was that good at voice acting that he made his throat bleed. Oh, look who it is! Yeah, Love Ken. this guy. Ken wins. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm not worried. I got the best journey. Oh, yeah, maybe they're gonna have the, a water uh, fight. He's got this little team of ninjas, too, that go out. He's got a full team of ninjas? Mm-hmm. I want to know what this conversation is. I want to know what you're thinking about doing. You're gonna set fire to his car just because you're feeling it? I'm feeling that. <laughs> I'll feel that. He parks like my mum. <laughs> just abandoned. Abandoned. I'm gonna blow up your car. With a squeegee. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, with that thing? The water and the oil? Oh, shorten his body out. Someone's gonna have a good trip home. <laughs> and. There you Yo! go. <laughs> Wouldn't explode, but <laughs> we'll give you it. <laughs> You're at a petrol station with a freaking car on fire. That could be such a right. <laughs> Call the Call the fire How did that happen? Oh my god! Karmic retribution! Oh no, no! No! The guy might be a really nice guy, and you just went, douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that's kind of he could just, when he's on the phone to this person, it just brings out, like, the worst version of him. Yeah, he's just, and like, then, he's trying to be, like, Mr. Billy Big yeah, Box so to someone. Cool. Yeah. But then as soon as he's off the phone, he's just like, Barbara, make sure my donation goes through to the kids' hospital. <laughs> 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 Chubby Stoner, Rodney Rush. Oh no, poor Rodney. I do yeah. like some of the names that they give people. Yeah, unit production manager. <laughs> that, was that was a really good episode. These are all good episodes. I know. This is one of those shows that I think if we weren't reacting to, we'd probably binge it oh, in about... Oh, smash it out, man. I want to say a month with dinners. Yeah, probably. Whenever we find a show that we really, really like... We tend to stay up like far too late. Oh yeah, we watched like four episodes of Louder Milk like in a row the other day, didn't we? Yeah. And then we finished it and found out that they stopped doing it months months ago, years ago. Yeah. But because of all the the popularity on Netflix, they're actually looking at restarting it. Yay! Like Louder Milk. Yeah, it was a good episode. I enjoyed that. All right, you guys, make sure if you have got this far, you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all in episode five. Bye-bye. Bye, peoples.